Britain's Chemical and Germ Warfare Research Centre is at Porton in Wiltshire. It's run by the Ministry of Defence, who employ a staff of over 1,200, among them about 100 scientists. A lot of the work at Porton is secret, and this is the first time it's been shown in detail. Scientists here take the threat of chemical warfare seriously and emphasise their work is for defence, not war. Well, we think the threat of chemical weapons is very real. The agents which could be used are highly toxic. Many of them are odourless, tasteless, colourless. They could be dispersed from all the conventional weapons. And, of course, it's our work to assess this threat, and we think, as I say, that it is a very real one. Eric Haddon is director of the Chemical Defence Experimental Establishment. Uh, I think I, I see the nerve gases at the moment as the most serious threat, not forgetting, of course, the World War I agent mustard gas, but as regards the nerve agents, they are very lethal. They uh, vary in their physical properties from something of the volatility of petrol to the other end of the scale, the volatility of um, lubricating oil, and we envisage them being used accordingly. <laughs>